Mertz Trapper here in Los Angeles, and I am sitting with Lucas Yancey, most recently known as the Waboom guy from The Bachelorette. Uh, Lucas, I, there's so many questions. Uh, I guess I'm going to start with what have you been doing since the show? Uh, well, since the show, I was in New York for the Fashion Week, which was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. I was set to perform my Waboom song there, and they had another slot to fill, so we didn't get a chance to perform it, but we're supposed to perform at the LA Fashion Week, so the Waboom song could be Waboomishly insane. Now, you know, for people not familiar with The Bachelorette, sort of how would you describe your story arc? I obviously love the show. You were clearly the standout on the series. But for somebody who's not familiar with, like, the Waboom guy, like, what does that mean? You know, uh, the Waboom guy is just me. It's really just me. Like, I can mean people go like, oh, it's a character. It's it's someone that, you know, we don't really understand. But like, any second of the day, I could be like, Waboom, you know, and just, you know, get into that persona i mean it's just an elevated me is what it is mm -hmm. but really the waboom came from you know when i was you know in college mm -hmm. you know uh like i said on jimmy kimmel i've been wabooming since the womb right and it's just kind of uh, an expressive way to kind of show excitement and energy and passion and, and love and that's really where it comes from you know now, you've got a lot of criticism on the show, even some people sort of outside of the show that said you were never really there for Rachel. You know, I remember Blake saying it definitively that like this guy is just using this as like a platform to sell T-shirts or to get his Waboom catchphrase over. Can you tell me why you went out on the show? Well, I don't really know who Blake is, but uh, in any sense, I do know that I went on the show to find love and to find that experience with with Rachel, you know, just like everyone else has come out and said, you know, like Peter Krause, he recently was, you know, getting grilled about like, you know, why'd you come on the show? You know, why didn't you go all the way through? And he's a great guy. And he's, he honestly was like, look, I was here for an experience. I was here to enjoy what was coming at me. And if things went well with Rachel, then great. Mm -hmm. um, and the same was for me. Like, you know, if I was on the show longer and had built that relationship with Rachel, um, it would have happened. Again, you know, we had Adam with the doll. Like, he came in with that kind of shtick, and it was kind of funny. It was a joke. But he had more time to kind of show his other side of, of who he was. And I guess I didn't really have that, that time to do that. Um, again, I wasn't on the show to promote anything other than who I was. Mm -hmm. Just like everyone else is promoting who they are. Mm -hmm. Um, I, right now, I mean, you see there's eight, you know, people from the season who have 400,000 followers or whatever who are promoting, you know, they got some person who gave them a new uh, a bed or um, a new, you know, hair, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. hair gel thing or uh, Versace or Ray-Ban. I mean, they're all promoting something right now. So, I mean, it's like this, it's, it's unfortunate that people think like, I'm the only person that's promoting something when at the same time I really wasn't even planning on promoting anything. Mm -hmm. The funny thing was is people wanted to order these Waboom shirts and I might be the only person on the show or in a while who actually is giving all the proceeds which we've raised over $6,000 to a charity to this to this young man uh, Robert Paler who played rugby uh, a cow where I went to school and he was paralyzed in a rugby game and they're raising a million dollars for him and I decided immediately I was like you know I want to put all the money that I'm making from these t-shirts mm -hmm. to, to him because it's not about me it's not about you know these shirts even though people like were freaking out but it just came about that that's what happened so I decided to uh, to give back immediately do you think that reality stars maybe get a bad rap in that sense? You know, that, oh, you're only going on this show to promote something. Do you feel like that's a misconception or do you feel like it depends on like who it is and what they're trying to sell or promote? You know, it's a great example because, you know, if we say like you, someone like Corinne or uh, let's say Dean or whatnot, you know, you notice these, these people, they're promoting a lot of different products. Um, uh is natural like you know Christina is an amazing person as well and you know with their approached by these companies and they have 500,000 followers or more and 
they say, hey, look, we're going to give you this stuff for free or whatnot. Can you put it on your Instagram? Mm -hmm. We're going to pay you some money. Mm -hmm. So indirectly, they could say no to that. Now, a guy like Peter Kraus, uh, who is probably one of the most loved guys, you know, in the world at the moment. I mean, I think he's just amazing. Um, he, you don't see him posting 15% off, you know, Ray-Bans or 15% off, you know, some suit collection mm -hmm. that they, they, they gave him. Um, he does have his own company and he is, you know, promoting that in a sense. But again, I would, you know, some people sell out to other companies and some people promote themselves. It's just a natural way of doing things because people need to understand that this is an experience that you go through mm -hmm. and reality TV has become, s I mean, more popular than people that are on Modern Family mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. any other TV show we could, we could name because it's all about the followers now. So, you know, but what else do you got, right? You know? Um. Walk me through like sort of what happens after the show, you know, like you have this, uh, you know, relatively newfound fame. A lot of people know who you are now. Um, is there a plan that you had that like, all right, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. Or is it just sort of like wait and see what happens? Um, in terms of am I going to do this what do you, in terms of before the show, after the show? After the show. Yeah. Like, are you do you sort of have a plan in motion for like how, you know, what what's next for Lucas? Like, how does that work? I mean, what's next for me is really you know, I love television. Um, I love being, whether it's comedy, I'm a comedian, you know, and I do hosting gigs, um, as well as stand-up comedy at the comedy store, uh, the improv and whatnot. But really what my focus is, is seeing, you know, what's going to be next in terms of what show I'm going to be on next, whether it be uh, another Bachelor show um, or whether it be something else. I mean, I just talked to Lauren Michaels the other day at SNL, uh, from SNL, at the Emmys, and we had a great chat, and I talked to one of his writers. I mean, you never know where things could lead. Uh, I got a few things, a few companies reaching out to me, um, of CBS, Fox, who, you know, want to put me in one of their shows. But, of course, I'm with contract with ABC. Mm -hmm. So, look, ABC is great. The producers are great. They're, it's, it's an amazing show what they do uh, for The Bachelor and The Bachelorette and the spinoffs that they have. Um, and then, of course, the other ABC shows um, that are in the book. So... Again, I'm open to any of those things that come my way. It's just, you know, we're kind of waiting and seeing what's going to happen. And and before I let you go, I really want to know why you were not on Bachelor in Paradise. I think that's a question that a lot of people have. Yeah, I mean, I had a I had a different um, agenda at that point because I had I had other work. So I work in real estate. So I actually just bought this property here uh, for two point one million dollars, so it was you know it was a big investment for me uh, to do that. So what people don't know is my occupation is waboom, <laughs> but I'm also uh, I've been working in real estate for ten years, and uh, I own and manage property here in Los Angeles, and so I had to allocate a lot of my time to that. Mm -hmm. And um, there was talks about me coming in at some certain time, and then there was this scandal and all that, mm -hmm. so we didn't know. So then at that point, like I couldn't take more time away from right, right, from right. my work and I, I had to I had to seal the deal with this property that I bought so that's why so I, I can't let you go I can't go back to Canada without uh, sort of getting a lesson in the waboom um, so I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna hand you the microphone now I understand there are different levels but maybe you can explain it to me and then give me a little quick tutorial well first I want to say that I love the Canadians by the way one of my favorite actors of course is Canadian you might know him as Jim Carrey who goes something like, "All righty then," um, and you know I love the support. A lot of Canadians have bought the, the shirt, and you guys are just really nice people, and it's it's been it's been great. So I just want to get that you know out of the way and you know let them know what the deal is. Um, the question is, well, boom, levels? Yes, you said there are different levels, right? So why do we why don't we start with a level one? Okay, so there's different levels of waboom. It's all about how you want to express it. You don't have to be like, ah, crazy waboom all the time, right? There's a way to be like, waboom, you know, or like, waboom, or like, waboom, or maybe like, it's waboom time, baby. <laughs> so there's uh, aspects to yeah. it. So if we were to just stick to, it's very versatile with, how you can use it you know it's how you say it it's not 
what the word is necessarily, mm-hmm. especially in this case. Um, but to give you the range, so from what you've seen on the show, um, we'll start with a one. Okay. Wow. Or I, actually, a one would be like, okay. let me say anything. Mm-hmm. A three is more like, wow, boom. And then a five is like, wow, boom. That's a five? Eh, yeah. Because it's kinda, bordering on six right there. Uh, bordering on six. It's seven. I mean, okay. the 11 gets crazy. Okay, so okay. we'll give you a seven real quick. Okay. Ooh, Boom! That's a 7.5 on the Richter scale. And then here's just a quick 10. We're not going to hit an 11 today because you'll have to just yeah, follow right. me on Instagram to see more 11s. And we don't want to break our camera either. Right? That's true. Okay. It won't break. Okay. It'll just break the microphone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and here's a 10 on three. One, two, three. That is, that is amazing. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna hand you the microphone. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one of these. Okay, so why don't you take the mic? Do you yes. Have any, do you have any tips? What do I do first? Okay, so first you have to take a deep breath. Okay. Like, you have to understand the meaning and the feeling of where this is coming okay. from, right? Yeah. It's coming from within. Yes. It's coming from your gut, okay. your soul, okay. and your heart, and okay. that's really where it has to start. Okay. Right. Yeah. So think of like Danny Day Lewis, you know, and how he does things okay. with his life. Or some investment banker from Goldman Sachs and how he decides how to do a deal and invest in this okay. company. Okay. Anyways, just stick with me. Okay. And then you kind of feel it for a second, and then you kind of like, okay. Sure. okay? Yes. Okay. Feel it. Okay. Okay. You just okay. the deep breath okay. in your diaphragm, and then you just let it bolt. And I want to okay. see a ten. I don't want to see any oh, screwing around. Man. Give me your highest, strongest, uh, okay. best. I, Canada needs to know. Canada okay. needs to know how you feel about it. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, okay. Oh, boom! Are you kidding? No, no response. What numbers did, what numbers did that get? I feel like a... Oh, boom! Wait, 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 wait. I might, have, I might have something that might help, okay? Are you ready? Yes. You know? I don't come my oh, by the way, I don't do drugs. I'm not on drugs when I'm doing this, so don't worry about... Okay. People are always like, are you on drugs? I'm like, no, this is actually who I am. So okay, okay. take it or Here leave it. Here we go. What do you think? Yes. Okay. You look great, Merck. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. Feel it. Okay. Like, build it up. Okay. Shake okay. around. Get the lips going. Okay, go. Right. Ready? Feel it. Just, just okay. scream it. All right. Yell hold, it. Hold the mic. Okay, okay. Here we go. go. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Yes. All right. All right. Give okay. me. Give, okay. Give me. Give me a, a number here. That was. Uh, you know. Everyone. You can be honest. I can take it. Everyone has a little wah boom in them, and everyone expresses it differently. And that was his, Mertz's expression of wah boom. Okay. And again, if you Just were. Give me the number, Lucas. The number I can take it. I can take is. It. A 5.5. Okay, I'll take it. That's a pass, Lucas. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Good luck with everything. Thank you.